All right, let's get right into it. Now there are three ways to program this remote and we're going to start off with a direct code entry method. You'll want to start with the device that you're working with turned on in this method or any other method I show coming up in the video. In this example, I'm going to be working with a sharp TV. So press the TV key since we're working with a TV. All right, hold the set button down for approximately five seconds until you hear a beep. If you notice this turn to code right here in the corner, now press the OK button and it's time to enter the code. OK, so the best code for my TV was 0001, but this code only partially worked. I tried all the codes to find the best one, but I couldn't find one that worked everything that I wanted. I'll show you the fix for this problem to gain more functionality coming up real soon. On a side note, I did try this remote on my Sony TV and I was able to find a code that worked just fine. All right, now entering 0, 0, 0, 1. All right, press exit to save the code. Now you'll want to test your code to see how it's working. If it's only partially working like mine, try the next code until you've exhausted all the codes. If you have exhausted all the codes, keep watching because I have more solutions. You can set up the rest of your devices in this very same manner. Just use the appropriate device button. Now I wanted to set up a Bose soundbar, but there's no code listed for Bose and of course there's no audio device button. But I have a solution for that. You should be able to teach the codes as long as you have your original remote, which I'm going to show you coming up next. Now you'll need the original remote or another universal remote that works for this to work properly. All right, press the device key that you want to work with. In my case, I want to program my Bose soundbar. There's no audio device button, so I'm going to put my functions on the VCR button since I don't use a VCR. All right, so press and hold the set button for five seconds until you get the beep. All right, notice that said code. Press the right arrow twice to get to learn. Press OK twice. You got this LST here and then press, see it says IRN, OK? So now we're going to press our button that we want to program to on the original remote, power, and then press the corresponding button, power, IRN, volume up, volume up, volume down, volume down, mute, and mute. All right, now press set, and then exit to go back to normal. Now if you remember on my Sharp TV, I found that not all of the functions worked right. Now I tried to program just the ones that were missing, but that didn't work. I had to go through and program all the functions I wanted, including the ones that worked before in order to get it to work right. I can't say I really like that, but that was my experience. Now I did find that once you programmed in some of the functions, like I was just saying, and if you forgot one, like mute for example, you can go back and program just mute and that seemed to work okay. Okay, so moving on to the next function, there is a volume sharing function that is mentioned in the book. I tried to use this to lock the volume of my soundbar to the TV, but that didn't really work. So you'll have to switch back and forth to control the volume if you're using an external amplifier. However, if you're in VCR, DVD, or CD modes and you want to control the TV volume, you don't have to switch back and forth. You can do this by pressing the device button that you want to control the TV volume from, DVD for example. All right, press and hold set for five seconds until you get the beep. Now press this right arrow until you see volume right here in the display, volume. Press OK, and you should get V on. That means the volume sharing is on. Press OK. All right, press exit to save it. Now you can control volume from the DVD mode. Now to undo this, just do the same thing, but select V off where you saw the V on before. Now there is one more option that uses an automated search. This will send out codes for the whole database to see if you can hit on one that works any better than the, what's on the code list. So I would put this as a last resort since it could take a while. And we're still working with a TV, so I'll press the TV device button. Press and hold set. All right, now use this right arrow key to search for search. There it is. 
press OK. Notice manual is flashing here in the display. We want to set that to auto, so press up, auto, and then press OK. Now notice we're counting up. So what this is doing is it's sending out a code every time this flashes. All right, so you'll want to keep the remote pointed at your device the entire time you're doing this, otherwise you might miss the code. Since we already know that my code was 0001, I know that we've already passed my code, so I'm going to press down to reverse the sequence. And we're counting down. All right, so we're almost there, so get ready to press OK when your device responds. Press OK. All right, now notice this auto is flashing. So we want to set that to manual. Now, if you happen to pass your code by setting it to manual, all right, press OK. We can go up, 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 down, down, down. We know it's 001. Now, when you get to your place where your device responds, you can test your power button. You can test your other buttons, you know, your channel buttons, whatever. Whatever you want to test. Once you're satisfied with the code, Press OK to store the code, and then press Exit, and Exit. All right? All right, that's about it. This remote can also do a macro sequence up to 15 keystrokes, so you can initiate commands by just pressing one of these four colored buttons right here. I'm not going to cover that in this video, but the instructions are in the manual. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.